Hello and happy Sunday to you all, my beautiful, beautiful souls. How are you all? I really, really do hope that you guys are basking in this new moon energy. I, for one, probably haven't felt this high on life for a very, very long time. So, yeah, bring it on. I'm happy we're aiming a meagle for more universe. <laughs> so, yeah, I hope you're all um, doing okay doing the best with what you have and where you're at and that you're focused forward. As always, I'm here to offer the collective energy, some psychic insight and guidance for the week ahead. If you're a part of this community, you know that we are all about moving forward. Um, we are about personal development. We are all about being a little bit more spirit led in our lives. You know, that doesn't mean you have to be a big guru, but it's about, you know, trusting and believing in something higher than yourself tapping into that within yourself and moving forward with that. So just before I get started on the reading, I just did, wanted to do a bit of um, bit of housekeeping for you all. This is going to be your last week uh, to snap up my phone reading special that I've got going on at the moment. If you are overseas, you can still snap up this price if you like, and we can just do it by Facebook audio call or something like that. But yeah, this is the last week that you can get a one hour session with me where I can tap into your energetic timeline where you currently are and see what's coming up for you and, and try to give you some counseling or some sort of empowerment to, to help you, you know, get your train on the right track, so to speak. It's only going to be $55 for the hour. My prices are increasing shortly. So if you want to take advantage of that next week, please do so. Get in, get in, get in. If you have any queries about it, because I've got a lot, a lot, a lot of new followers at the moment and a lot of new people, a lot of word of mouth. So if, you, if you're if you not sure whether I am the reader for you, because I always say to everybody, please do your research. You're investing your hard-earned money and your time and your energy, which is the most precious of everything, into somebody. So do your research. Feel free to contact me. Ask me questions. I'm an open book. What you see is what you get with me. <laughs> um, but yeah, if you want to take um, advantage of that $55 for the hour, session, um, please by all means um, reach out. Um, I've also noticed that I've got a lot of feedback over the last week that a lot of people are struggling with the buy me a coffee platform. I've had a lot of people say, oh, God, I can't, I don't know how to work it, I can't work it and I'm missing out and, and this and that. So what I've, what I've done is because I want to make it easier for you that the information and all the um, effort and energy I put in is to help you move forward and there's no point me doing it on, on a platform which no one's connecting with. So um, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna focus more so on my YouTube and my Facebook communities. So not only will I upload videos and do all that type of stuff, I will also be putting posts in the community section. So make sure that you go and check that out. Make sure you subscribe, like, do all that positive juju. And um, I'll, be, I'll be doing posts. And, and people who don't really use YouTube or whatever, you can jump over to my Facebook. I'll, I'll put the posts on, on both platforms. So yeah, if you choose what you want. <laughs> and saying that, when it comes to my YouTube community, um, probably you, some of you may have seen my post. I'm actually going through such a rebirth at the moment. I'm really loving the process. I'm really enjoying the journey. It's been, it's like so refreshing for me, especially coming out of a couple of years of grief after losing my loved ones and stuff. So I've started my own, I'm going to start my own vlog as for next week. And P.S. If anyone knows how to actually vlog properly and and do it, let me know. Any tips down below? <laughs> but um, I'm just going to be documenting and sharing my my process because I am 47 years old. I have spent a, a massive chunk of my life taking care of others and um, missing out on quite a lot of things. So I think it's time that Dan Dan starts getting out there and um, starts experiencing things that, you know, I haven't even done, it was like that I haven't done before. Um, and, and I know it might not seem like anything big to anybody else, but it's big to me and it's big to me and I really find gratitude and appreciation in, in the smallest things. Like the other night I actually had Bushido, you know, Bushido, that meat, I actually had that for the first time and I just thought that was the ants, pants. <laughs> so basically I am, I'm, I feel confident and secure and, I've got my personal development and my spiritual side really, really my game. I've got my game on strong. 
So uh, I think it's time to do this. So the hair's gonna change. I'm doing stuff to my body. I'm just going to become a bigger, better version of myself. So if you want to stick around, I love to see the find the fun and humor in everything in life. So um, if you just wanna stick around and have a laugh at me, that's cool too, I'm, I'm up for that. I'm down for that, totally down for that. But yeah, so um, a lot of that, and I'm also gonna be sharing how I develop my gifts and um, learn, learn to manage them and all that sort of stuff. So yeah, stick around guys. Like I say, hit the subscribe and the notification if you wanna know when, when posts come up because it's hard with us creators and the algorithms. So make sure you do that. If not, go over to um, Facebook if you prefer that platform because you'll find shit over there. Oh my God. Oh, don't know what they are, but let's just, let's just start from fresh. All right, I'm gonna use Spirit, I uh, Spirit to use all my senses safely, securely, and full protection <laughs> to offer the collective energy something we need to know for moving forward. Sorry, I'm just in such a buzz in this energy. I fucking love it. I got up early, had a coffee, basked in the sun, listened to the kookaburras, did my journaling. Oh, feels so good. So, Spirit, can you use all my senses safely, securely, and full protection off the collective energies? Something we need to move forward. Something that we need to move forward. What's up? What's happening in our timelines? What can we expect? Obviously, guys, take what you need and leave the rest. I'm ready for a collective, so it's not going to suit everybody. <sighs> okay. It's time to dive in. We need to start diving into shit more. Yeah, yeah. Stay really, really flexible from this moment forth, but please keep your faith, hold your faith. I feel like those who are vibrating on a lower level of consciousness may, be, may benefit from tapping into some type of faith. It could be a religion, it could be just a, um, you know, that's why I love shamanism because it's not anything in particular. It's just an overall faith, especially when it comes to Mother Earth and nature. I'd be very, very mindful. I did a post about this, about karma yesterday. Whatever you're putting out there right now is gaining momentum. So if you wake up each day and only do what's for your highest good and for the highest good of all, that energy is going to gain momentum and you're going to score in the second half of this year. I'm telling you now. Go back and read the karmic post because I was literally cleaning my toilet and the shower and, and just resetting my vibes for a fresh new week ahead yesterday and spirit gave me a download about and it's not that we're foreseeing um bad things happen to people it's not how we work but karma is real so you know be be very mindful that the experiences you have coming up um they're going to be a byproduct of the energy and the vibration and the thoughts and the feelings that you put in up until this point like I say, don't attach yourself to anything right now because nothing is set in stone. Um, what I love about it is the, t the stones are turning though, but are, the, are you gathering momentum of moss? <laughs> you know, the driftwood type energy, the, you know, the less thans, the uninspiring, the unmotivating. Are you gathering more of that or are you gathering more of that, I'm happy where I am universe and I'm eager for more, so... Please know your spirit, uh, please know that, oh, hang on. Um, spirit is saying that please know that you and your loved ones are safe. So if you are carrying a worry, burden, or concern about any of your loved ones, please know that they are safe. Um, if some of you have recently had loved ones make their transition, they're coming through for you now to let you know that they are safe and that, you know, they're, they're a little bit more freer and they're feeling a lot more easier and that they're still with you. So please take that on board if that resonates with you. But the biggest thing right now is that we've just got to have faith. And I think most of us just need to have faith, more faith in ourselves to trust our own decisions. You know, me for one, I step forward in this life each and every day. If it, if it feels good to me, I'll do it. And, but if it doesn't feel good, I'm not going to do it. And so I don't wake up with guilt or apology at all in my life. You know, everything has a lesson. Everything is happening for a reason. It's usually happening for you. So you can either learn a lesson or that you can move forward and expand as a beautiful human you are. Um, yeah, but I think a lot of people probably 
aren't learning their lessons right now. So some of you may have to retreat and, and, and recalibrate a little bit, that's for sure. Yes, we did get balanced spirituality with your practicality. So um, I know for me, my spirituality, my sense of self is like at, at the best possible version of itself that it can be. So now it's time to get practical. <laughs> time to get the hand dirty. Um, but some of you, if you're very a very practical person, you're just go, 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 and you're more inspired through action and you know, taking big risks and all that sort of stuff. Maybe you're being encouraged through your faith system to sort of come at life on a more spiritual basis. So you take with you what you want. I'm pretty sure this came out last week too, but we've got to believe in the impossible. So a lot of people don't do things because they're oh, that's impossible. Oh, how can that happen? What, you know, all that sort of internal dialogue or whatever. But Spirit is saying once again for the second time round in a short time frame, it's time for us to believe in the impossible. Because I honestly, hand on heart, feel that what we thought we could never have, that we could never get, that we could never attract, that we thought was impossible, you know, um, that's going to come in for us. And I think what's letting a lot of people down is their belief system is that, well, if it hasn't happened now, then it's never going to happen to me or, or something of that nature. So um, be mindful of that. Obviously, guys, your thoughts create your things. Your emotions are what you use to navigate uh, through this life, use your discernment at all times. But whatever's happening to you right now, you know, could be a lesson or it could be a blessing. And I'll take the blessings. Thank you, universe. All right, so let's get into some tasty tarot and see what the tarot wants us to know. Spirit can use the tarot now. Let's let's uh, foresee a few things, hey? Oh, they just went like with this to me. So I think it's really important right now, if you have any, <laughs> it's hard for me because I'm a psychic, so I can sort of foresee stuff, but um, I wouldn't react to anything right now. If you can see something happening or you feel something's happening or uh, yeah, your intuitive guidance is, is kicking off a little bit, they're saying, shh, don't say anything. Just take that knowledge, take that knowing, pop it under your, pop it under your belt or you know, we're not saying put it in your backpack and take it with you and worry and do all that sort of stuff. Just, just, don't, just don't say anything right now. <laughs> don't say anything right now. This could have to do with anything. Can have to do with what you can see happening at your work, and you, and you can see, um, you know, people not pulling their weight or something like that. Don't say anything. Don't think you have to go to the boss and say Mary's not doing her job properly or anything like that. Just, just keep it hush. Keep it hush hush right now. Because, like I say, this karmic train that's coming in, it, it's going to bring all that out anyway. If, you, if you're noticing things in your relationship sectors or anything like that, you know, just don't, don't say anything. Just don't react. Don't do anything. Let nature take its course. Do what makes you happy. Go with the flow. Because I'll tell you what, this is, whatever's happening at the moment on a collective verbal, it is out of our hands. It is out of our hands. It's, it's, it's the higher selves cleaning up the mess. So I'm happy to let them do that for me. <laughs> I'm going to have fun. All right. So once again, let's get into some tarot. Oh, jumped out. Yes, here we go. Death of old situations. So we are all ending cycles right now. It's not what happens to you. It's what you do with it. I cannot emphasize that enough. Please go easy on yourself. Please don't judge others. Try to live a little bit more unconditionally. Love people where they are, but most of all, love yourself where you are. We are forever growing. We are forever learning. We are forever expanding. A lot of you are putting too much pressure on yourself to be a certain way, um, to act a certain way. You're not listening to your intuition. I feel like there's a lot of people sitting in front of me with their hand out right now and it's a take there, take, take, take. I think what a lot of people are releasing is this instant gratification type feeling. So if you are someone that is really diving into th things right now for that instant gratification and you're getting attached to things, this could be your biggest lesson yet. Um, if you're someone who's not doing that and you're pretty stable and secure and you've got balance in your spirituality and practicality and you know what you're you're after and you're going to start chasing that and you're following your intuition then you are going to receive something that you thought was impossible giddy up 
Um, I would like to also thank everybody who has sent me over the course of the last week validation and their updates on all the predictions that they had come true so far. Love it that you guys remember. I don't. <laughs> but I love it for you. I only want good things to happen to good people. So, yeah. So a lot of us are going through this death experience. So please be kind. Please be kind. You know, I don't think anyone else needs to be told, you know, what's wrong with them. And it's not your job to go and tell other people what's wrong with them and all that sort of stuff. You know, just make the shifts yourself. The sun's coming up. Booyah! Oh, I know it. Oh, you, you can feel it. I can feel it. I can feel it. Look at that. we got the Queen of Wands. We are creating our own empires right now. So are you planning this for yourself? Are you planning it for yourself? Or are you getting stuck in your emos? Getting stuck in your feels? Um, the Queen of Wands represents someone who is tapping into a newfound inspiration. You know, we can't be motivated to do anything in this life unless we're inspired by something. So set yourself a goal. How do you want to feel? Even if you don't know what the specific is, how do you want to feel? How do you want to feel in three to six, 12 months? For me, I want to feel adventurous. I want to feel stability. I want to feel security. I want to feel loved. I want to feel secure. I want to feel safe. I want to, you know, feel, I want all my senses to go off. I want to feel holistic, you know, tap into the feeling space if you don't know what the specific is, because you've got to feel it first. You got to feel it first and then you'll experience it in your reality. So um, a lot of people are stepping up into their power, which is kudos to you. Hopefully my upcoming posts and vlogs and all that sort of stuff will help you achieve this type of energy. If not, this can be a reflection of someone coming into your experience who exhibits this type of energy. You know, these are no BS type people. These are people that, like I say, will love you unconditionally in that. Um, but you know, they, they're, they're a source of your inspiration. So please, if you are feeling a little bit less than or anything like that, seek sources of inspiration if it's not a faith type system. Because this energy, you don't want to miss this energy. This is someone who's got their groove on, man. This is, it can be male or masculine. It doesn't, doesn't, there's no gender when it comes to energy readings. But um, yeah, I've got, I just got told being pursued. So I think there's going to be quite a few of you who are going to be pursued um, over the course of from this moment forth, I'll just say. So I feel like this could be, you know, you may be really good at your job and someone's going to pursue it, pursue you for a position that they would like you to fulfill in their company or their business. Um, some of you may be pursuing more clients. So if, that, if you're self-employed and you're needing or pursuing new clients or networking, that's definitely possible. Some of you may be pursuing someone in a relationship or you may be pursued in some way. But there's, some, there's something here that's coming in. And I'm, honestly, I keep going back to that, believe in the impossible, because what you thought was impossible, you know, I couldn't have that person. I couldn't get that job. I couldn't do this. That's what's letting you down right now. Get into those affirmations and those sell scripts. I'll post one later. You can take it, steal it. And please, you don't have to ask permission to share or uh, copy or, you know, whatever, anything I do. You know, what's mine is yours. <laughs> so, yeah, I've had a few people message me and say, is it all right if I just copy that down or if I just share that or whatever? Go for it. Go for it. We live in a limitless universe. <laughs> um, <laughs> we also have the Three of Pentacles. Here we go, karmic cycles, guys. We are heading into a time of karmic reward. Everything that you've put out there so far is going to come back to you threefold. If, it, if you haven't been putting out negative karma, then you're going to probably get your karma threefold back. So you may have a series of losses so to speak. And like I say, it's not revenge. It's not, you know, uh, it's, uh, how do I explain it? It's it's not to bring you down, so to speak. This this is just part of your karma. So if you've been someone who's just take, 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 take off other people, whether it's their time, their money, their emotion, their um, wh whatever it is, if you've taken from other people, um, or maybe that's just something that's going to be taken away from you now. So um, either which way, you know, you know where you're at. <laughs> Go check out the other community posts. You know where you're at. And I don't say this to scare people, but every single day you have an opportunity to clean up your act. You have an opportunity to clean up your karmic system. You can give those apologies. You can actually say thank you. You can show appreciation. Or you can just keep taking, 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 taking and um, not get anything in return. If you are someone who's giving, 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 giving all the time, the totally opposite end of the spectrum, then you're going to receive your rewards. You know, there's three here. Everything always comes back threefold. Some people say tenfold. It doesn't really matter. It's just coming back. Energy circulates. 
So what, what you do unto others comes back to you and all that sort of jazz, but it's definitely coming back. So guys, and, and please stay flexible with it because I, I really do think that this is gonna come back in ways that you don't expect it. If you are out there seeking a relationship, you may just happen to go down to your local supermarket and spark up a conversation with a relative stranger there and start dating them. You know what I mean? You may just put in, in for a job position that you know, you're know you not too keen about or whatever, but um, all of a sudden you just get it or you don't think you're good enough and all of a sudden you get it and they just love you. Um, could be anything right now, but here we are working our way up into our King of Pentacle energy. This is financial stability and security to me. Um, the value of the coins to me in this energy is always different for everybody because some people just feel rich when they are loved. Some people just feel rich when everything's stable and secure. That's what this card represents to me. It represents stability and security and establishing that. This is a, this is an extension of this energy. So some of you may be just coming into this energy and you're just starting to explore a little bit more and, um, you know, you're just thanking everybody for their experiences and you're just showing gratitude for where you are and you're just eager for more and you're happy to step out of your comfort zone and start doing newer and better things and mingling with all different types of people and experiences and all that sort of stuff. Um, um, this is this growth is coming in for everybody anyway. So even though I am seeing the opposite end of the scale, I think spirit really want me just to focus on this because this is the potential right now. If this isn't you stepping up into this um, abundant type energy and with stability and security, then someone may enter your life who exhibits this energy. So be very mindful how you treat this person. Be very mindful how you react and um, respond to this person because this person has your highest good at heart. Like that's that's what they want for you. But I've got a feeling that if this energy comes in for someone who isn't quite stable and secure within themselves, then there could be a sabotage type of moment happening here. And we don't want that for you. So if you want to know what anything specific is for you as an individual, like I say, take advantage of my uh, one hour phone reading sessions next week, because I can certainly tell you or clear up, help you clear any type of emotional baggage. I can't fix it for you guys. I don't have a magic wand and you are going to have to put in the energy work and the time and the effort and all that to get yourself from where you are to where you want to be. But I can certainly clear up your path a little bit, um, give you more clarity to your specific situations and give you some tools and tricks that you can use to, to help you move forward. But I like where this is going and like this ain't pleasant sometimes, trust me. <laughs> it's not pleasant. It's not fun. No one wants to do it but it's, it's necessary. It's necessary. And it's not what happens to you. It's what you do with it. You know, you know, if you know, you know. So if you do know something right now, you know, you know, if you just know. <laughs> Don't say anything. <laughs> All right. We've got a couple more of these. This could be also just clear knowing. A lot of, I oh, know oh I've read for a lot of people this, last week, this week, whatever you want to call it, um, whose intuitive abilities are really starting to take off and they just know it and they just come to me for a bit of confirmation that their knowing is true. So that, that's that been kind of cool, but um, could be, it could be more of a spiritual level that you're starting to know things and see things and, and um, have more of an intuitive nudging and impulse on things and you don't know whether to trust it or not. Oh my God, awesome. Please know that your prayers are being heard and you are about to receive. This is this this energy is always like to me, spirit saying, which one do you want first? We've, we, you've got your order, here's your car, here's your house, here's your lover, here's your job, here's the amount of money you want in your bank, here's the pet that you want, here's the new socks that you want. Don't know why I just said that's really stupid. <laughs> but um, the universe has heard. And, and go back and read my community post yesterday. If you know what you don't want, guys, you know what you do want. It's time to shift your focus and airtime to, towards um, the things that you do want and give that more time and energy and focus. Please, I beg of you. I want you to have all this juicy stuff, but something significant, something that you thought was impossible is going to come possible for you over the course of the next few months. It's going to come faster for some who are doing the energy work. Uh, it's going to come probably slower for those who have put out karmic ju negative karmic juju, but either which way it's coming in. So some of you may actually receive something and you really love it and you really enjoy it and you know you really appreciate it and stuff and you don't know what to do with it and then you fuck it up. 
you know, oh, please don't, <laughs> please don't. Go, go within, what do you want? How do you want to feel if just, yeah, I, I could go on a rampage with that, but I won't because it'll go too long. But anyway, please know that your prayers are being heard. Your loved ones are hearing your prayers. If you have had a, a loved one in, in spirit, they are hearing your prayers. Um, we also got money from work. So if you're focused on your work and your career, um, getting some stability in that area, that's coming in for sure. I know that the narrative for the last three years has been the complete opposite. If you've fallen for that narrative, then so it is. But if you are a true light worker and you believe in the universe, um, just as much as you believe in gravity, you know, if you pick something up and drop it, it's going to fall to the ground. A lot of us aren't scientists. We don't know how that happens. You know, if you do believe in the universe and stuff like that, that what you put out there comes back to you, it's gonna. It's definitely gonna. I promise you, there's no lack in this um, universe. You can be, do, have whatever you set your mind to. And it's only you that pinches yourself off from it. And that's for, for, for saying yes to things that don't add value to your life. Saying yes to things that don't offer you an equal energy exchange. Saying yes to things that, you know, make you feel a little bit icky or unsure or worried or concerned or any of that. Wipe that slate clean. Wipe it, wipe it clean. Because that's the, this, what's coming in is the complete opposite of that. Complete opposite. So are you going to keep pinching yourself off? From this, look at all the gold, look at all the pentacles, look at all the abundance. You know, it may not be money. Someone may just, so for me sometimes, just someone giving, giving me the gift of their time and their energy and their focus and stuff like that can mean more to me than and, than any money. So um, it's, it's up to everybody else. Some people are literally living week to week and stuff like that and they're praying for um, an increase in their financial side of life or, or an increase in their business or something like that or a pay rise or a promotion or something that's coming in. It's coming in. You just got to believe right now that it is possible for you. It is. Please trust me on that. We also got the lover's card. So some of you are going to be attracting the love of your life or um, this could be just you finding a new lease of love in your life. Lovers can represent third party situations. So if you have a bit of a gut instinct on anything like that right now, I'd probably follow it. Um, if you don't, I'd start asking a lot of questions or start adjusting your energy accordingly. This third parties can mean anything. It can be cheating. It can be um, parents and laws. It can be family. It can be any anything that's a third wheel in your connection. Um, that's what the lovers can symbolize. But if you are living authentically, transparently, using your discernment, only doing what feels good, um, really managing your energy well enough to know who and what you give your airtime to, then if you're looking for love, then it's definitely on the cards for you. So go get lucky. Go get lucky. All right. So we're going to get into some fairies and let's see what the playful fairies would like us to know. <sighs> no one can bring me down from my cloud. Oh, shit. What was that? Love life. Literally jumped out. You saw it. So maybe there's love coming in. Maybe maybe some of you have love on your mind. Um, look, it's just, look, I don't know where you guys are at, but it's just about loving life again. You know what I mean? If, especially if that's what you've been wondering about. You know, you, if you're someone who's do, you're learning how to love yourself a little bit more, grab a nice beverage, go out to the sun um, take a journal with you and start writing down all those wonderful aspects that you know are good about yourself, you know. Um, list all the things that, you know, that you know that you're good at. You know, you may be a wonderful communicator. You may be a very passionate person. Start picking out all your good points and emphasize those a little bit more. If you do have weaknesses or vulnerabilities, write them down too and make a promise to yourself that you're just going to start, you know, creating some lifestyle changes to... Um, empower yourself a little bit more listen to more mentors motivational speakers all that sort of stuff if you do do that energy or if you feel like you're a part of a third party situation get out of it get out of it go back come back to self love yourself a little bit more but if you are loving your life and you're loving where you're at you're going to start attracting like-minded people that just they get you and they understand you and they love you unconditionally and they're accepting and and they're non-judgmental and all that sort of stuff. And there, there's power for love here if that's what you've been um, looking for. So, yeah. I like it. 
Oh, okay. It's really important you guys just to be yourself. Some of you um, feel like you can't be yourself for fear of being judged or something like that. But you've been you you you've been really encouraged at the moment to it's remind me of something I've said in the star sign. Actually, I can't remember which one it was, but. Um, you're really being encouraged to be yourself, what's and all right now. No one's perfect. No one's perfect. Everyone has past baggage. Everyone has, everybody is where they are right now. Me personally, I don't judge people where they have been or where they are now. I, for my basis and my choices and my decisions on what they're doing about it, you know, what they're putting forward into this world, what's their dreams, what's their desires and all that sort of stuff. Because I, I've known so many people that have, you know, for example, met up with someone who's actually been in jail and that person is not very confident because of their past or, or something like that. But this person loved them unconditionally. You know, they supported them. Um, this person was really happy to receive that and they've, and they've gone on and had really good lives. So um, for some reason, I don't know why I had to share that, but if I was in your physical shoes right now, you either have to release people who are not adding value to your life, that only seem to be taking away from your happiness so you can love life yourself again. Um, but most of all, it's you've got to be yourself. And if people don't like you for who you are, then, you know, plain and simple, you know? It's really important. Um, I think we're going through an ego death. This is ma a massive ego death as well. I do, I feel like people are waking up and, you know, they're meeting people that won't suffer fools and won't, you know, feed egos, so to speak. Or it could be the other way around. Maybe no one's feeding your ego. I don't know. We've got pregnancy too. So if you want to get up the daff, get busy. <laughs> but we are heading into fertile times. This can be just the birth of new ideas. I know that's what's happening for me at the moment, just giving new ideas out there, putting it out there, waking up, just rolling with the punches. You know, if I feel like doing it, I'll do it. If I don't, I won't all that sort of stuff. But we are in a fertile time, guys. So once again, if you are in a situation where you don't want to get pregnant physically or anything, be careful. If it's not on, it's not on, you know, just take all precautions and all that sort of stuff. But it's time to give birth to a new life here. You know, stop settling for less than you deserve. Stop settling for everything that's sitting in your comfort zone. You're going to have to take some leap of faith. You're going to have to take some leaps of faith. Um... But if you don't and you're too scared to, so it is. But that's not my job on this earth. My job is here to teach you the clarity of my own example, to give you the tools and tips and knowings that you need through spirit and, and to help you move forward. Celebrate your small wins too. Celebrate your small wins. I have stepped out of my comfort zone so much over the last fortnight, you know, so much I thought I was going to throw up because it was so... I felt like it was out of character, but it wasn't out of character. It is who, really who I am, but um, I really had to push myself and, and really soothe myself through that moment and, and really make and, and do things that I wouldn't normally do. And I mean, I've had so much fun. It's just so much fun. And yeah, I was shitting myself at the time, <laughs> um, but, it, but it's, it's expanding and it's growing and, it, and it's fun and it's liberating. So I hope you guys, you know, follow that train as well. Uh, we also got new homes. So some of you do, um, I, I was literally going to say do need a new home. So if you, some of you are really worried and concerned about your home basis, please know there's a positive shift coming. Um, didn't get any contracts out necessarily, but this could be just focusing on your own home like I did yesterday. I just went through and cleansed and smudged and saged and um, put positive juju back into my home so I can have a really proactive week ahead um, without looking at dust and grime and dirt and skid marks and all that sort of stuff. You may just do a bit of a declutter. Um, this could be your physical home. Maybe some of you are going to start, you know, looking after your physical self a little bit more. Some of you may be getting a rental or purchasing a new home. I'm not feeling that, but if that's you, that can come in. But there's definitely something, um, some significance, especially over the course of the next six months, that's going to be very significant with your home life. So if you feel like moving is a step in the right direction, then Spirit is telling you right now, yes, it is, but just don't just jump into action on it. You've got to align with it first. It goes back to that post I put in my community. You know, life is not about chasing things. It's about attracting things. So attach yourself to nothing right now. Go into everything with an open mind. Love everyone unconditionally. Don't blame anyone for your misery because you're creating it for yourself. And... Um, yeah, let's get out of this death experience. 
and um, start living this rebirth. All right, so I've got some deity cards. We've got Master Buddha. So this is increased awareness, uh, deep connection, treat, um, trust your inner voice. Can't even see with my glasses on. <laughs> so you really need to follow your internal guidance right now. Absolutely. And you know what? I know how hard it is because your your internal guidance is saying, leave it alone. Don't touch it. Don't don't go there. Don't go there. But then part of you is going, oh, but, you know, what if I miss out? And, and what if I don't get it? And um, what if it turns out like shit or something? I don't know. There's that, there's that contrast going on. So the awareness is coming up. I tell you what, I've wanted to come on and do a massive crown chakra healing on so many people uh, because I can feel all their blockages. That's what a lot of people don't realize about me. Like I can sit there in your energy and be part of your energy and I can see all the working components, so to speak. I won't say anything because it's not my job to go and try to change people. That's not what I'm here to do. But I do um, take note of it and I put it in my little mental bank, so to speak. And sometimes I'll just write letters to the universe and ask them to help transmute it for them or do something constructive with it. So we encourage you to do the same. We've got Diana. So we've got focused intentions so look at that crown chakra opening up there. Um, some of you are being guided in a more positive direction, but you're fighting it because you won't release your ego. You know what I mean? So you don't want to hurt feelings and that's okay. But, you know, doing, making those sort of choices because you don't want to hurt other people's feelings or you don't want to leave them out in the dark or you don't want to do this and you don't want to do that. You're just creating your own suffering, you know. Um, I've done, I did that a lot in the past, so no more. But... You know, how, how other people respond and react to your decisions, that's not on you, that's on them. Um, you just need to know that you're doing this for your highest good. So um, think about what you desire right now. Set your sights higher and expect the best possible outcome. Expect something that you thought was impossible. Absolutely. And then we've got um, Kalima, facing fear. Major spiritual changes are unfolding and this is your chance to soar. So are you going to go with it or are you going to go down with it? I was going to say something really cheeky there, but I won't. <laughs> that's, that's just where I'm at at the moment. Um, but yeah, guys, I can't encourage you enough to face your fears and do it anyway. Honestly, push yourselves out of that, out of your comfort zones. It's really, really important right now. Get amongst communities who are doing it. Follow my vlog. Have a laugh at me. Uh, the things we're going to do. Anyway, all right, so if you are a self-carer and you would like a tip on what level of self-care that you can give to yourself this week, this card's going to be for you. I take all this information on myself as well, don't you worry, because I am part of the collective. I'm just the channel. All right, okay, Spirit wants you to be your own cheerleader. Yeah, there's so much codependency here. There's so many people relying on other people for, people for their own happiness, for their own satisfaction, you know, for money, for whatever this is, if you give that airtime, you're a braver person than I. Um, be your own cheerleader. Get a notepad and write write some cheers for Team You affirmation scripts. Make them as silly as you like and make up your own cheerleading routine. Keep them in your toolkit for when you need a positive boost. So be your own cheerleader from this moment forth. You guys step into your individuality. Be yourself. Be yourself. If people don't like you for who you are and what you offer and what you bring to the table, then they're not your people. They're not your people. That's okay. And the more that you find acceptance and peace within that, you'll open up a door which you thought was impossible and you will meet your people. You will get that job. You will get that pay rise. Your bank account will resemble that. All that sort of stuff. It's coming in. It's coming in. And I am freaking, freaking excited. Excited. All right. So yeah, guys, thank you so much for jumping back again. I hope someone got something from that. It's very intense, very playful. Please get more playful. Um, I used to be such a serious person and now I just couldn't be asked. So it's, it's really nice to, when you once you're in this energy and you're stable in it and it's got a really strong momentum, just how joyful everything is. And, and thank you to everyone who's made that remark to me, especially having the spiritual shack more so on Facebook. But um. You know, they're, they're, they're saying, you're glowing. You've got this shine about you. You know, it's not necessarily because anything's necessarily happened. It's just how much I've come come forward in my own growth, my own expansion. And um, I'm, I'm bloody proud of myself too. So I, I really want you to be proud of yourself too. 
Absolutely. So yeah, anyway, I'm off for now. Got other things to do. Thank you so much. I will post later in the community uh, aff affirmative script um, from the Good Tarot by Colette Baron Reed. If you want to jot that down, you're more than welcome to. I thank you to everybody who always leaves such a kind donation and um, says thanks and gives me an energy exchange. You can do that on the Buy Me A Coffee or through PayPal. All those links are down below. If you want to take my 55 dollar phone reading special next week take that by the walls and use it i'm yours jump over my website book in and yeah keep an eye out for my vlog <laughs> should be fun all right love you so much you guys have a great week ahead and um yeah make smart choices bye